Uh, hi, you guys. And uh, this is from Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Welcome to our international admission promotion session. And I'm Luti from International Admission Office. And we have invited Professor Yu Fang to share with you for some information about the School of Pharmacy. And first of all, let me introduce Professor Yu Fang briefly. Professor Yu Fang got his PhD degree in pharmacy administration in 2007, and he went to Minnesota University of America as a visiting scholar at the same, same year. And later he went to Harvard Medical School, the top medical school in the world in 2012 as a research fellow. And currently, Professor Yu Fang is the Vice Dean of School of Pharmacy, and he is the Supervisor of PhD and Master's students. Professor Fang obtained more than 20 funding support, uh, supports. He was the editor or co-editor of 30 books and published over 150 papers, including 85 publications at the first or correspondence. Uh, corris uh, co correspondence author in peer-reviewed international journals, including Lancet, Infectious Disease, etc. Professor Yu Fang is the gainer of the China Medical Border Faculty Development Award and the Young Talent Support Plan of Xi'an Jiao Tong University, and also he's the director of the current of uh, the Center for Drug Safety and the followed policy at Xi'an Jiao Tong University and the president of the ISPOR, Northwest China Chapter, Ministry of Education, Young's River Scholar. Actually, these titles are very, like if you are in China, you, you may fail. And uh, the title is a very high title in Chinese Academy. So now let's welcome Professor Yu Fang to give us some information of the School of Pharmacy. Professor Yu Fang, please. Okay, thank you so much for teacher Luqi's uh, introduction. Uh, I would like to share with you about uh, uh, School of Pharmacy, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. So I really hope that this information will be very helpful for your future application. So I will share my screen. Is that okay for you? Does it work? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. So my title is Step to the Future, an introduction to Xi'an Jiao Tong University School of Pharmacy. I'm Yu Fang from School of Pharmacy. I'm the vice dean of this school. So I would like to introduce School of Pharmacy in five parts. So here I gave you some uh, pictures about uh, the ancient capital city, Xi'an. I think that uh, all of you will be very familiar with Xi'an, the ancient capital city. It's the start point of the ancient Silk Road. Here are some famous sites in Xi'an. And the most famous one is the terracotta warriors and houses. Uh, in Chinese, Bin Ma Yu. I think some of you have visited these famous sites. And it, it, every year, um, travelers visited these famous sites and from all around the world. Uh, so it's almost the symbol of this ancient city. I want to say that uh, Xi'an city is a very modern big city. And we also have many lovely local foods here in Xi'an, especially uh, different kinds of noodles, very, very famous. 
I really like uh, this delicious food in Xi'an. I really enjoy that. Now I will introduce the department and faculty members of our school of pharmacy. So here is the basic information of this school. We established uh, in 1971. So the Department of Pharmacy, Xi'an Medical College at that time. And in 1996, we established Xi'an Medical University School of Pharmacy. And then after that, in 2000, Three universities merged together, established a new Xi'an Jiao Tong University. So we established the School of Pharmacy at that time. In 2004, we call it Department of Pharmacy, Health Science Center of Xi'an Jiao Tong University. And 2013, we established a new school of pharmacy under the Health Science Center of Xi'an Jiao Tong University. In this school, we totally have six departments, one institute, and a couple of centers. So we have six departments, including Department of Pharmacognosy, the Department of Pharmacy Administration and the Clinical Pharmacy, where I come from, and also include Department of Natural uh, Medicine and Chemistry, Pharmaceutical Analysis, Pharmaceutics, and uh, Pharmaceutical Chemistry. As you may know that Xi'an Jiao Tong University is a comprehensive university we call it uh, top nine university, two plus seven. So we are now uh, ranking in uh, around 11 in mainland China. This university is, uh, uh, is very famous because it's a multidisciplinary uh, discipline in such as science, engineering, medicine, economics, and management. And, and we are now aiming to establish a leading school of pharmacy in China and abroad. And this school, we really have very talented people in the field of drug development, production, distribution, use, and supervision to meet social needs. In terms of our faculty members, currently we totally have 84 faculty members. All of them are full-time teachers. And we also have more than 20 part-time teachers and advisors from around the world. So as you can see, more than 90% of our faculty members have PhD degree and around 30 members are professors and around one third are associate professors. For the rest are lectures or postal uh, lectures. And uh, these faculty members are very energetic and they are very, some of them are very well known in this country and even in the world. So I will give you some information about our teaching and education. In this slide, you can see we provide 
bachelor's programs for Chinese students. Here, I want to emphasize that these bachelor degrees are only for Chinese students, like pharmacy, clinical pharmacy, and pharmaceutical engineering. So yeah, we are trying our best to cultivate talented people working in different positions like drug development, research and development, drug supply chain management, and finally improve the rational use of medications in both community and hospital settings. So these three programs are very well known in this country. And in this slide, you can find that the different master and the PhD programs. So we mainly cultivating PhD candidates uh, in pharmaceutical, in the directions of pharmaceutical analysis and uh, pharmacology. Actually, in the past uh, five years, we also cultivating PhD students in different branches like uh, medicinal chemistry, pharmaceutics, pharmacognosy, pharmacology, or pharmaceutical analysis, and uh, natural medicinal chemistry and pharmacy administration. So you can find that uh, in our master programs, we have covered all of these different branches. So previously, um, more than 40 international students have enrolled in this program, both PhD program and the master program. And they really have very good performance. And now they are doing really excellent research work in both programs. We also provide professional degree in our master program, including pharmaceutical engineering and pharmacy. So this slide show you all programs for our international students. So you can choose different branches in both master and PhD programs. So for our international student cultivating, and uh, both master degree and PhD degree are provided. And also, I want to say that uh, uh, we also uh, really hope that uh, uh, attract uh, very talented young students to uh, study in our postal program to do very excellent research work in different branches. So, so master PhD degrees, and also we very really in, uh, hope that. Uh, uh, very talented young people to study and do research work in our post program, post uh, postdoctoral programs. So next, uh, I will talk something about our research and achievements in this school. Firstly, research platform. In 2013, we established uh, the National and the Local Joint Engineering Research Center of Natural Medicine Screen and Analysis. So this center is sponsored by Professor He Lang Chung, and he's a very famous professor in the area of pharmaceutical analysis. This National and local joint center includes one provincial engineering research center and two provincial key laboratories. So this center now have more than 
uh, 100 researchers, both faculty members and young master and PhD candidates. Furthermore, we also have five provincial research centers like Shanxi Provincial Research Center for Health Reform and Development and the Key Laboratory of Natural Medicine Research and Engineering of Shanxi Province and so on. Center for Drug Safety and Policy Research, and Food and Drug Research and the Testing Center, and so on. In the past, uh, supported by various funding supports, mainly the National Natural Science Foundation of China, NSF. We have supported by one national uh, major scientific research equipment of NSF and one key program of NSFC. And uh, we also supported by 34 general program and uh, 49, 48 young scientist fund projects. The total fund sum up to 46 million RMB. So this slide show you the main research fields in our school of pharmacy, uh, including innovative drugs and traditional Chinese medicine development research, and the substance foundation and in vitro process analysis of traditional Chinese medicine prescriptions and the new method research of drug quality control and so on. And more research fields like pharmaceutical administration and drug policy, drug safety and rational use and clinical pharmacy and pharmaceutical care services. So, Maybe some of them you are very familiar with, some of are not. For example, for pharmaceutical administration in United States, they call uh, social and administrative pharmacy. In China, we call it pharmaceutical administration. In Pakistan, they have different title like pharmacy practice. In North Europe, they call it uh, uh, pharmacy practice. So um, we have different uh, branches. Some of them you are very familiar with and some of them um, maybe the title are, titles are different from uh, the, that in your country. So in the past five years, we have a lot of research achievements like uh, we have published uh, uh, nearly 500 SCI indexed uh, uh, journal papers. And uh, our faculty members have participated and attended uh, nearly 90 international conferences. And some of them are sponsored by our school and uh, our Xi'an Jiao Tong University. We have uh, some achieve some uh, win uh, won some awards like the second prize of national award for technological invention and the first prize of Shanxi Province Science and Technology Award. So we also have many patents for invention and uh, some of the transferred for scientific research. So here are some research projects like uh, 973 projects and uh, more than 60 national, provincial and uh, ministerial research projects. The total funding amount 
is nearly 46 million RMB. Our faculty members and uh, students have published many high impact journal papers, including BMT, Lancet Infectious Disease, Lancet, Lancet Global Health, and other very famous international peer reviewed journal. We are very glad that uh, since 2012, we have sponsored a new journal named Journal of Pharmaceutical Analysis. So now it's a SCA indexed journal. The impact factor is nearly five. So this is the first SCA indexed journal from Xi'an Jiao Tong University. We are so proud of it. And also we have sponsored one local Chinese journal named Northwest Pharmaceutical Journal. It's a very old and also a well-known journal in China. It's a Chinese journal. We have won some main awards, especially in 2012. We won the National Technical Invention Award second prize. So Professor He Langchong is the first winner of this prize. Here are some patents. And we also got some new drug license and some certificate for health foods. The School of Pharmacy are very, very interested in international collaboration and cooperation. In the past 30 years, we have established a wider international collaboration and established some exchange programs. So the number of teachers with excellent overseas doctoral degrees has significantly increased. For our faculty members, some of the graduated from University of Cambridge and some of them hold a visiting position from University of Minnesota and so on. So the number of teachers with overseas exchange background has increased year by year. So more than 70% of our faculty members have background of overseas exchange program or the, some of them got degree, PhD degree from overseas. So our faculty members are very international. The School of Pharmacy has selected teachers and students to study at leading universities. So our faculty members have visited uh, some leading universities like Harvard Medical School, Purdue University, University of British Columbia in Canada, and so on. So 10 international cooperation research projects have been completed and more than 20 internationally renewed scholars were invited to give lecture or speech in our school of pharmacy. And uh, supported by our University, head of our university, and uh, 
uh, Wang Shuguo. We have established a close relationship with President Wang Shuguo visited Leiden University and uh, also School of Pharmacy, Shijiao TU, and uh, well, some related uh, uh, faculty members in Leiden University. And we invited professor from Leiden visited the School of Pharmacy and gave speech. And uh, some, doc some doctor and professors from Leiden visited School of Pharmacy and established a very close relationship with our faculty members. Here are some other international communication, like uh, Professor Fu Qiang visited Japan and Professor He Langchong uh, visited the university in Japan and also Professor Guo Zhengjun visited Purdue University and some senior professors visited our school of pharmacy. Recently, we have sponsored some international conferences. In 2019, we sponsored the third international symposium on advances in pharmaceutical analysis. And we also sponsored four international conferences jointly by Xi'an Jiao Tong University and Harvard Medical School. The conference on drug safety and policy research. Here are some of our research partners and some leading universities with close have close, close relationship with our school of pharmacy. So we have established a cooperating relationship with over 20 international universities, like Harvard Medical School, Purdue University, Leiden University, University of British Columbia, and University of Strasclider University. And all this relationship improved our school a lot. And the professors from both universities have established some research projects. And also we sent our PhD or master students to study overseas and jointly publish international papers. So we achieve a lot in this area for our international cooperation. In 2017, our university planned to establish a new campus. We call it uh, Western China Science Technology Innovation Harbor. The new harbor really have a huge space with 5,000 5, acres in general. So all of these space are for science and education for our university. So this is really a great chance for the development of Xi'an Jiao Tong University and also for the School of Pharmacy. In the New Harbor, we established the Academy of Pharmaceutical Science and Technology. Under this, Academy, we established four institutes with a space of more than 10,000 square meters. So in the future, if you include in the master or PhD programs of school of pharmacy, you will start your education and learning in the harbor under the different four institutes, according to your um, directions 
branches or background. Finally, I would like to give you some information about the basic uh, application procedure and also some uh, basic uh, information about your study and learning in the future. If you finally succeed in application, so in our school of pharmacy, both our master and PhD degree program will, all the courses will be given only in English. So they are totally English medium program. So the way to deliver our courses is that all courses will offer online provision, which means that uh, only because of the travel restriction during the COVID-19 pandemic, we have to choose online teaching. So it's a really appropriate way to continue our study learning education. So maybe you want, you want to ask my, ask me a question that uh, how about the lab work? So I will say that all experiments will be conducted after arriving, after you're arriving on campus. So face-to-face teaching or face-to-face -face experiment lab work will be conducted after the lockdown. And after you physically arrived on campus. So the health and well-being of our students and the staff remains our number one priority. So we are looking forward to seeing you in the School of Pharmacy, Xi'an Jiao Tong University, and really hope that this pandemic will end as soon as possible. And we can teach and study face-to-face -face in Xi'an Jiao Tong University. For other information about your application, maybe the number one priority for you is that to choose appropriate potential supervisor for your future master or, deep, uh, master or PhD study in our school of pharmacy. So here, I will give you this link. You can find this information in the School of International Education, in the website of School of International Education, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. The number one for you is that to prepare all the materials and documents for your application. And from our side, especially for from the uh, support of our faculty members. So maybe you need to uh, contact this target or potential supervisors through WeChat, through uh, email or other channel to try to get recommendation later. So my suggestion is that to please prepare a very good uh, personal CV and introduce yourself to potential supervisors, especially your previous uh, very good background information. And especially you know, if you have previously published some SCI indexed journal papers, you can provide all this information to potential supervisors. And I think uh, if appropriate, 
of our faculty members will be very glad to provide you recommendation later. And this is this will be a very strong supporting material for your future application. And also, you may want to know further information about the application procedure. And step one, two, three, four, all of this information will be given uh, from the official website of the School of International Education, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. You can find this information from this link. So that's all for my introduction. Thank you for choosing School of, Inter School of Pharmacy, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. And uh, I will be very happy to answer your question. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the near future in Xi'an. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor. You found your presentation is very helpful to our applicants, I believe. So guys, if you have some questions, you may have five, five minutes and to ask, let me see. And our comments, mainly see, thank you. Thank you, Professor. Mm -hmm. hey guys, so if you have questions, you may feel free to ask. And also, if you are just like in the future, I recommend you to contact these professors of uh, School of Pharmacy before you make your application, which will help you. And there's one student named Baha, and the question is, applying for a master in pharmacy administration, will I have access to hospital practice? So, okay, so Professor, mm -hmm. uh, Professor Fong, one student asked if they apply for pharmacy master. Uh, yeah, if they apply for a master in pharmacy administration, and uh, do they have chance to go to hospital to practice? Okay, okay. So that's a really good question. So it depends. Uh, I will say that uh, if your future uh, supervisor is a senior professor from the first or second affiliated hospital, they are both. Uh, uh, faculty members or uh, senior clinical pharmacists. Mm -hmm. So their research interests uh, are closely related uh, with clinical pharmacy. So if your supervisor is a clinical pharmacist or also a faculty member from school of pharmacy, so you in the future, you have, will have uh, um, opportunity to uh, continue your uh, study or your research work in uh, our hospital settings, the first or the second uh, affiliated hospital. So it, 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 it's possible, it depends, yeah. Okay, thank you. So I will read the question one by one. The second question is how much time is there to apply for School of Pharmacy for 2022? Okay, for this question, I will give you the answer. The application time is until March, 15th, 2022. Basically, if you apply, we will give you feedback within one week and you will check online to see if you pass the initial review or not. Okay, the third question is, is it a must to have published a paper as an undergraduate? So Professor Fang, if students apply for a master's degree, do they have to publish paper? It's not uh, necessary, but if you do have some publications, it will be very strong support for your application. So actually our senior professors, all associate professors, they are much more uh, 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 likely to uh, give um, uh, higher uh, evaluation 
for students with very good publication, with previous publication, uh, even in their undergraduate uh, uh, study. Yeah, okay, okay, thank you. So the next question is, do you have student exchange program opportunities? Okay, uh, another good question. I will give you a previous example. Uh, uh, one of my uh, PhD student, Majid from Pakistan, uh, previously in 2017 to 2018, I financially supported him to visit Malaysia for uh, three months to do exchange program. So it depends if your future supervisor really have this funding support and if, if he agree, if he or she agree, then you will have this kind of opportunity. And another thing I want to share with you that uh, our international, our uh, uh, Xi'an Jiao Tong University really uh, in, uh, um, hopes that uh, our uh, students, even international students, can have very good opportunity to attend international conferences. So this is another form of uh, uh, communication and cooperate to uh, uh, promote our future uh, uh, um, cooperation. So uh, in this case, uh, if you, uh, your abstract or uh, postal uh, um, accepted by international conference, so our university will financially, uh, partially, uh, I mean partially uh, support you to attend this international conference. But uh, unfortunately, because of pandemic, so these exchange programs, all international conference opportunities uh, cannot be uh, uh, continued successfully. So I hopefully, uh, really hope that in the near future after the pandemic, all this exchange program our visiting uh, program will uh, continue uh, again. Yeah, uh, so I just want to share you this information. We do have this kind of opportunities, uh, even for our international students. Okay, thank you. And then we got another question. I checked the application of XJTU, but didn't find how to apply for a master's in pharmacy or clinical pharmacy profession. No. Uh, okay, I will give you the answer for this question. Like if you apply online, you have to choose Health Science Center because the School of Pharmacy belong to Health Science Center. And then you can find the School of Pharmacy. And you cannot find it from clinical or other department. You can only find the School of Pharmacy under the other of Health Science Center. You will see all the master and the PhD majors online, okay? So, okay, guys, I didn't find more uh, questions. Okay, uh, so later, if you have more questions, you may send an email to us or you can contact the Professor Fong and their professors in School of Pharmacy directly because just now, Professor Fong has shared with you the link of their school. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor Fong. Thank you for your precious time. Okay. And My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Good luck, thank you. guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.